Hi, everyone. Good day, good day. So first, I would like to introduce to you to our new banner of our YouTube channel. So right now, you can see that it's bookkeeping workflows with Malana and Nikki Jan Aguilar. So Nikki Jan is my husband and we are partners at bookkeeping workflows. So, expect that in the coming days or months, we will be having tutorials with um, Nikki John uh, in the coming days. Yeah. So, for today, I would like to answer the question uh, of one of our viewers. Her name is Hilda Garcia, and she commented that she said, I am following your method and have come to the point where I need to enter Airbnb payouts. I can't find the video where you show this. Please help. So I have time today, so I will create a video on how to record Airbnb um. Payouts. Okay, so let's go to QuickBooks and assuming that um, Hilda already created the products and services in the gear icon and then uh, create products and services. So we're using the um, test drive of QuickBooks. So I have already created the services that we are going to use in order to enter Airbnb um, payout. Okay, so, so for example, um, you are having a client uh, who is, um, who is also engaging with Airbnb business. So every time that uh, they receive a payout from Airbnb, so it will like be recorded or it will be deposited in the checking account. So it will go to the checking account. So first, what we can do is either you create a sales receipt or you create a um, invoice for the Airbnb payout. In my case, since um, they already paid that and then you are just recording the payout and you want to capture everything in the payout report. So example of a payout report is this. Okay, so I have remove some of the information here and just retain the important information that we're going to use. So there's a date and then their date of reservation and then also the payout and then the guests and then details. It is transferred to the business checking account, the currency, and then how much is the amount of the payout this is 231.25. How much is the host service? So this is the Airbnb host fee and the cleaning fee. And this one is actually the Airbnb accommodation bill. Okay, so actually there's a formula on how you can get this. So this is equals um the payout amount plus the host service fee less the claim fee. So that is hundred eighty eight um and forty cents. That is the Airbnb accommodation fare. So if you want to learn what is Airbnb accommodation fare, you can you can check my previous videos on creating products and services for Airbnb income and expenses. So now I have already created the, at least three products and services. You can create more, like for example, there's 
adjustments to the reservation or refunds. So you can create more. So the only expense account for Airbnb products and service is the Airbnb host fee. The rest are income um, accounts. So for example, accommodation fare, this is mapped to an income account, Airbnb accommodation fare. Okay. Uh, also the Airbnb cleaning fee income. This is also mapped to the Airbnb cleaning fee income account. Well, the Airbnb host fee is mapped to an cost of goods sold account. And the name is Airbnb host. Okay, so let's start. Let's start um, recording this using a sales receipt in QuickBooks online so what we need are this are this information okay so let's go to new okay so i just said you can use sales receipt or you can use um invoice so in our example i'll use a sales receipt okay and then here i will just copy paste the information that we got from our Excel sheets from the Airbnb payout summary. So you can choose here Airbnb customer. Mm -hmm. So we'll just create the contact for Airbnb customer. Okay, and this is for like let's say December 31 of 2023 and they should be deposited to the checking hour. Not to not to a deposited funds, but to the checking hour. So first is you click on the products that you're going to use. So we have three products. Okay based on the payout so we only have details about accommodation fare cleaning fee income airbnb house fee and the accommodation fare is 188.40 okay just paste it and then the cleaning fee is 50 and then the host fee we will use negative number because it is an expense transaction. Okay. And then we are not going to put any sell stocks in here. Okay. Because Airbnb either collects the tax and then also remit the tax. So if you're client or if you are not withholding tax, so you don't need to refer the, the occupancy tax and other taxes. Okay, so you can also put in the description um, who is the who is the guest. So for example, the guest here is yes, I'll just put my name. Okay, okay. And let's see. Okay, so 231.25. Let's go to the amount of the payout is 231.25 uh, cents. Okay, then you can just um save this. So 1231, save this. Okay, and then so let's go to uh, the reports. Let's go to the reports and let's see uh, how it shows in the balance sheet, uh, in the profit and loss statement. So if that was December 31, okay, so see, you have your income accommodation first one. 88.40, then cleaning fee. So you have like um this from Airbnb. And then let's check 
the Airbnb host fee. It's here. It's under cost of fee. So, so I think I have already answered your question. So hopefully I can create additional video regarding how to match the um, Airbnb sales receipts when the deposit comes in to your checking account. Thank you. That's all for today.